morning West Warwick High School. Today's Wednesday, May 1st, day A. The periods go 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3. Attention all juniors. As the seniors only have 15 days left before exams, that means the morning show needs new anchors. If you would like to be an anchor on next year's show, please fill out the audit. The audition survey sent out with this morning's morning show sent by Mr. White. And if you haven't picked a table for this Friday's junior prom, stop by room 121 ASAP or you'll be assigned to a table alphabetically. There are also a few seats available on the coach bus to the prom. Stop by room 121 to reserve a spot. Attention wizards, it's once again time to dodge ball. The the annual 16 team dodgeball tournament will be held Wednesday, May 8th at 6.30 in the gym. If you are interested in putting a team together, please see one of your class officers or any student council officer before next Friday to register. The cost is $50 to enter a team and you can have up to 10 players on the team. And don't forget the five Ds of dodgeball. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. And in sports, the boys volleyball team dropped to, to four and three with a three games to one loss at Barrington. Luke Flintz had 18 kills and 15 digs in the loss for the Wizards. And the boys tennis team also lost on the road following in Middletown to six to one. The double teams of Alex Gresian and Adrian Valdez won for the Wizards who are now three and six. And unified loss. And on the schedule today, baseball hosts Narragansett at McCarthy Field at 630. The golf team takes on East Greenwich at Potawamet Golf Club at 2.30 and the boys tennis team hosts Narragansett at 3.45. And before we go to Miranda with the meeting and events, there will be a brief meeting for all WWW AAA Book Award applicants today in the cafeteria at 1.50. This is mandatory so please attend. Now let's go to Miranda with the meeting and events. Please consider donating cases of water, Gatorade and soda to the post prom. You may bring in the donation any time between now and May 4th and leave them at the front office or in room 186 with Mr. Grenier. If you would like to make any other donations, please see Mr. Brousseau in room 121. And attention Spanish club members. The annual Cinco de Mayo, Mayo Fiesta will be held on May 8th after school in room 187. If attending, please sign up with your respective Spanish teacher by Monday, May 6th. Gracias. And now here's Nate with the weather. It is Wednesday, my wizards. For today's weather forecast, we're gonna have a high of 56 with a low of 44. As of right now, it is a crisp 44 degrees and sunset will be at 7.44 p.m. today. And because it's gonna be cloudy with a slight chance of rain tonight, I'm gonna to keep it at a three out of 10 on the moonometer. If it doesn't rain, maybe a four. And now let's go to Jocelyn with Trivia Tuesday, uh, the answer and with birthdays. This week's Trivia Tuesday question was, for which movie did Sandra Bullock win the Academy Award? And the answer is The Blind Side. So congrats if you got it right. And now for the word of the week. Brought to you by Miss Coletta and the English department is the word of the week. This week's word is orator, which means speaker. For example, the man was hired to be an orator for the game. And now let's go to, back to Jocelyn with the birthdays. Casey Brill, Fabricio Hurtado, Nicholas Hurtado, and Colby Rogers share a birthday today with co-host of Impractical Jokers, Mur James Murray, more commonly known as Murr. And here's Nate with today's Alvesism. All right, here's a message from our Dean of Discipline, the one and only Mr. Alves. Your job is to stay in the high speed lane, not look for the car accident in the breakdown lane. And that's it for today's morning show. From all of us up here, have a breakdown-free day, Wizards.